Hey, what's up and welcome back everyone to another Warzone Academy video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at 10 jump spots across Caldera that you can be using to finesse your opponents and more importantly, flank the campers on the high ground who are sitting there taking pot shots at you, staring at the ladder so you can't get up and you didn't think there was another way until now. This video is all about providing value to you guys, so if you enjoy it, make sure to drop a like on it. If you're new to the channel, let me make a deal with you, okay? If you learn one new jump spot, that's on me. If you learn two, do me a favor and drop a like on this video. If you learn three new jump spots that you're gonna be taking into Caldera to take out some campers, please consider subscribing to this channel because it lets me know you enjoy the content and I'll bring more educational content to you. But I do want to thank the sponsor real quick of today's video, and that is Z-League. For those of you that don't know what Z-League is, it's an opportunity and a website for you to play in Warzone tournaments, and it's got a skill-based matchmaking system, not like Warzone, but allows you to compete in tournaments against players of similar skill level. Let me show you what the actual site looks like. So when you go onto their site, you can choose whether you're playing solos, duos, trios, quads, you can even compete in free tournaments for cash. You can assemble your squad, play with your teammates, actually get friends invited to earn credits, and then those credits will eventually be sent back to you via cash. Now, the nice thing is, is it's all done for you. You don't have to do any of the hard work. All of the scoreboards are tracked live on their site. It's effortless. Now, the way you can play is typically what I like to play in is kill race tournaments where you get points for placements and points for how many kills you get. But most importantly, it's free. You can choose what you want to do. You can compete in either free tournaments or you can compete in credit or cash tournaments. Obviously, if you compete in the credit and cash tournaments, you might get a little bit larger a payout. But if you just want to compete for free for the first time, you can check out the link in the description and the pinned comment to compete for free at zleague.gg slash Isaac. Huge thank you to them for sponsoring today's video. All right, so let's get into the jump spots. For all of these, I'll be providing the problem and then the solution. For this one, it's the H building, a very common hotspot that I personally love to drop on, but there's only one way to get up to the second story, and that's from the stairway, which people love to camp. But actually, there's an alternative way. My buddy Rally showed me this. On both sides, you can get right here on this little step up and then make your way up and into the second story and then flank people that are otherwise camping in here can't tell you how many times i've killed someone that's just been sitting up posted here looking down here and then you shoot him in the back all right guys so the second jump spot is kind of a unique one it's not actually a true jump spot but we're going to utilize this balloon here oftentimes we find a lot of people camping at top of peak especially hot droppers now i've actually used this to my advantage if i notice peak is way too hot or i get the you know a slow drop i'm talking to chat or something i'll land in one of these buildings and the nice thing is is when jumping off of this you don't need to pull your chute so if someone's camping up here, you can just push aggressively like this. Oh, and you get them behind. completely off guard. All right, so the way this works is you see that little red bumper all the way at the top? That's where you get off of the parachute. Now, technically, compare these as if they were on a flat plane. If you have the red bumper here and then on the flat plane, the top of peak is right about here. As long as the relative height difference or, you know, altitude difference of those two is no larger than 13 meters it won't result in fall damage so on this side too you can climb all the way up no need to pull your chute and you can land in right here however if you were to do that same thing and land right here as you can see my dead body you will splat the magic number is 13. if i were to drop from here i would die if i was to drop from right here eight meters i know i'm gonna be safe 13 meters, I should live. Anything greater than 13 meters, you will splat. So that's how it works. The relative elevation of this to this is only a difference of less than 13 meters, even though laterally, it's quite a considerable distance. All right, for the third jump spot, we're going to be taking a look at this gondola building that leads up to peak. People love to camp inside of it and especially up on top of it. But instead of working your way up this choke point that they like to sit kind of cross corners, one person will sit in the corner up here, one will sit in there and you get cross fired. A lot of people don't realize yet that there's a flank on this side where you can work your way up here, up, up, up and around, and then boom, you can find players that are camping inside of here. Okay, and we actually just found out right now, we are trying to find a solution whenever people camp at the top of this ladder. Even when making this video, I thought there was only one way up, but actually, come over here to this side, you can jump to this ledge right here, climb up, and then it's a little bit awkward, but you have to use the boost of this pipe to raise your elevation, jump back onto right here. Obviously, try not to make a lot of commotion. 
you get on top of the lamp and then you can mantle up here and kit and kill someone that's camping up top on this ladder all right the fourth jump spot has to do with this yellow building right here this is a commonly camped building and obviously you're able to get up from the outside and get inside of here but it's a really advantageous spot if you need to hold opposing teams whether the zone is rotating in or out you can actually get up onto the roof thanks to the new increased mantle by jumping off the window ledge and simply turning around but it actually works both ways so if you're wanting to hold someone here this is fantastic but let's say we've got a team that's pushing in and we don't have time to expose ourselves on this side of the roof what you can do is actually go to the other side of the roof and do the exact same thing run out jump onto the windowsill work your way up and now you have a disgusting heady and high ground to hold your opponents all right ladies and gents the oops Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> all right ladies and gents the fifth jump spot is here in arsenal there are four of these buildings and all of them have the same advantages you got a couple different options you can either come from here and work your way up to one of these sides and get a great flank you can do the same thing from this railing work your way up if they're camping the second story easy way to get in there but you can also work your way in if you break out here now take the high ground by whipping around and taking the high ground here ladies and gentlemen as a reminder as i mentioned in the intro of today's video if any of these are new and you guys are learning something new first one's on me second one drop a like if you've learned three new ones already make sure to drop a subscription here for more warzone academy content all right, so these last five jump spots were actually found by members of the community. I tweeted out over on Twitter that I would offer up $20 PayPal to anyone who could help the community, help the Academy, find some awesome practical jump spots that I had never heard of before. So these next five, I donated $100 to members of the community and you'll see their Twitter ads linked below. So if you guys want a chance to earn some cash yourself, learn some jump spots, share them with me over on Twitter and obviously make sure to like and subscribe here so more people know about these videos and I'm encouraged to make them so I know that you guys like them. But for number uh, for number six, the jump spot has to do with this arch right here. People love camping this. Now there may technically be a way to work your way up here. I can't really figure it out, but it's really awkward. And frankly, they're just gonna peek over this ledge while you try to figure it out and you're just gonna get gunned. So the traditional way to get up is off of this rappel or ascender right here. You can send this up and technically blow someone up potentially up there, but that's risky and most likely won't just kill them. It'll just alert them and they're just gonna sit there pre-aiming this. All right, so what you can do is go up, climb onto here, jump over onto this little ledge, work your way, mantle up on top of here, and you just kind of do that back and forth a couple times. And now you can work your way and get up here without being stuck in that awkward animation of going up the ascender. The alternative is working your way all the way around, committing to going underneath them, and then you can climb up underneath here. Just be careful with this one. You're, you're pretty exposed as you're working your way through here. I would rather be on the other side making that flank, but you still can make your way up this way as well. I just think I'm under a little bit more cover. My angles are a little bit tighter right here than the other way. All right, the seventh jump spot is actually a highly recurring building across Caldera. So don't think of it as just this one place, but anytime that you see this yellow building, it is literally repeated all across the map, including in the same neighborhood. What you need to be searching for is this right here. It seems like every single one has a way that you can get on top of it, whether it's from that car, whether it's from jumping up onto this fence line, but it'll allow you a way to get up, even if you don't fully push in, to take a really nasty head glitch to fight people who are inside and who knows possibly you might be able to even work your way around yep and work your way in to flank people that are camping this second story so look out for this building all throughout caldera the flanks will differ per each building but look for that little archway and you'll be able to find your way to the second story all right the eighth jump spot has to deal with power plant now originally the only way to get up to this little spot right here is either to do some crazy gymnastics inside, which I'm not even sure is possible, but if you find someone camping up here or worse, just sitting up here camping the rooftop, it seems like the only way to get up is through this little jump spot right here. You climb up a ladder over here, you jump up and you find your way up to the high ground. So if they're watching that, or it seems predictable, what you can actually do is work your way up over here. So you come from this side, jump up this box, jump up to the roof, 
jump up on this little AC vent to the pipe to here. And then you're actually somehow able to grab on and find your way up onto the roof. If I would have known about this, this would have saved me in a $100,000 tournament. I did not know about this jump spot. And so I went up here and completely got fried by a team camping the high ground. So a nice little alternative route to the top. All right, so this ninth spot right here, originally I thought there was only one way or two ways to get up on the roof. So we're here in Arsenal and we're up on this kind of like square rectangular with a hollow slit in the middle. And it seems like the stairs or the ladder here and the ladder here is the only way to get up. And so you're really pretty much trapped because I've seen people camp up there with claymores on both sides, just pre-aiming both sides. But there's actually a super easy flank that you can hit from any angle, depending on where your opponents are camped up. So what you need to do is jump in here, jump up onto this ledge, and you can actually hit this jump prior to the mantle buff. And now it's just crazy easy to get up here. If you have all of your teammates, you can coordinate it at a certain time and then just say, all right, you know, one person's here, one person's there. And you can either just jump up and find the angle or everyone jumps up at the same time. As soon as you get tagged, you jump back down, plate up, and then you're just jumping in from all over the place. Really unpredictable and a great counter to people camping up on this rooftop. All right, and ladies and gentlemen, the 10th and final jump spot is here over at Beachhead. Once again, a reminder, if you guys enjoyed this style of content, make sure to drop a like on it. If you've learned three up to now, make sure to subscribe. And what we're going to do is we're going to take an alternate route. Rather than go up the stairs internally and work your way up, people love to camp up here. We all know it. But there's a way that you can get up without having to work your way through that little cubby part right up there. You can come up here, jump up onto this side, and unfortunately, you can't, you can't mantle up. And so at first, when I tried this, I thought, shoot, there's no way to get up. What you need to do is aim for this corner. And when you aim for the corner, now you can get up and you already have a disgusting head glitch that you can fight on. All right, sweet. So you've cleared off this side and now we know they're all the way up top. Now you do the exact same thing over here on this right-hand side. Jump, catch the corner, disgusting head glitch. Don't get stuck on this ladder getting gunned either from behind. Stay dynamic, work your way over here, jump to the corner, find your way to the top. And ladies and gentlemen, that concludes this video. Make sure to comment down below what sort of other Warzone Academy guides you guys would like to see next. How can I help you improve at Warzone Caldera? The game's in a great spot now. Console can finally play the game on the big map. I'm getting excited to get back into this content as well as provide you with the best guns in the game. So let me know what you would like to see in future videos and I will execute here on this channel for more. If you guys want to be a part of the action, make sure to join me live over on Twitch. Everyone is here and just saw me absolutely embarrass that guy. So if you want to be part of the action, help me record um, and uh, just hang out. Make sure to join me here live over on Twitch. Without further ado, thank you again for checking out the video. Thank you again for Z League for sponsoring and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.